819? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Such a good job. Okay. Thank you so much. Hi, my name is Melanie. I'm a first year at Harvard University. Oh, cool. Hi, my name is Aitana and I'm also a first year at Harvard. Hi, my name is Jasmine Navarro Jimenez. I'm also a first year at Harvard. Sabornu Isaac, a god of math. Of course. Just All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. 14 times 41. Okay, 14 times 41, that should be relatively easy. So 41 times 4, first of all, is 164. So it's 410 plus 164, which is, uh, what is 41 plus 16? That's 57. Uh, 574? That, that's correct. Oh my right. god! <laughs> oh my god! So what is long division? What we can basically do is, let's start with just an example. Uh, let's start with a simple example like, I don't know, 120 over 12. Now, just by guessing, you can already say this is 10, because 120 is just 12 with an extra zero on the back, and you probably already learned that rule. But, let's try doing it using long division. Long division uses this. So, here, is what we call the divisor. It's the thing that we divide by. And here is what we call the dividend. This is what we are dividing. So in this case, 120 would be our dividend and 12 would be our divisor. And what goes up here is the quotient, the answer. So for example, 10. Now, you can divide anything by anything here, but I know you're already asking this question. What if the answer is not a whole number? Well, let's see what we can do. We can use something called remainders. For example, if we didn't have 120 over 12, but 130 over 12, well, uh, we know that 130 is not a factor of 12 because the multiples of 12 are 120, 132, and then 144. So, uh, you don't see 130 in this range, do you? So, that means 130 is not a factor of 12. So, uh, how can we express the quotient? Well, we don't need to do anything funky. All we have to do is regular division. Now, we don't just know the process from our heads, so we have to start actually doing. Digits are in 12. 1, 2. Two digits. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the first one, two digits of 130. And now, we're just going to subtract 12 from that. This is basically a figurative way of subtracting by 120. You just don't write the zero at the end. So this gives you one minus one, or let's do it the conventional way. Zero minus nothing is zero. Three minus two is one, and one minus one is zero. So we get 10. And now 10 cannot be subtracted by t uh, any factor of 12 because it's smaller than the number itself. So if uh, you get a uh, this, this little part that is smaller than the divisor, this is what's called a remainder. And so what would be the quotient here? Well, since we did 120, uh, 12, or I guess actually 120 over here, then that means that our quotient would be 120 over 12, 10. Maybe you don't want to remember all of that, so you can just take the last place of the divisor, so in this case, this little guy, and you can just put a one over there. So that means that uh, our quotient is one, zero, 10. And so uh, this is our quotient, and this is our remainder. So, the remainder is basically like uh, the extra part. So it takes the nearest, so no, uh, I'm pretty sure I can explain this in a better way. You can express this as a mixed number by putting it as the quotient 
um, plus the remainder over the original divisor. But that's besides the point. We don't care about this for now. So that's basically the gist of long division. So now let's try doing it with some random numbers. So I'm gonna pick four ran uh, random digits. So like, uh, I don't know, three, four, one, six, and then two random digits. Like, I don't know, 56, sir. Okay, so let's try do uh, doing long division with this. Okay, uh, you know, let's pick 26, sir. Okay, so let's do long division with this. So first we take the first two digits and place them directly below the first two digits of the number. 34 minus 26, uh, well, let's bring the first two numbers down first. And then four minus six, we gotta regroup here. So two, 14. And just erase these numbers afterwards. Uh, this isn't gonna actually be part of the quotient. 14 minus six is eight, two minus two is zero. So let's just erase these so they don't get in the way. And now you have eight sixteen left. And you repeat the process. Take the first two digits, put 26 directly below them, and then uh, all you have to do is subtract six. Now you gotta regroup again, so make this a seven, and make this a 10, and 10 minus six is four, seven minus two is five, uh, 546. And actually, I'm gonna give you a tip to make long division quicker. Instead of doing it this way, what you can do is try finding the greatest factor uh, of 26 that goes into this. Not the greatest factor, the greatest multiple of 26 that goes into 81. Because 26 has multiples less than 81. There's 26, there's 52, and then there's 78. Those three are the ones less than 81. And obviously, if you add 26 to 78, it's going to result in something a little higher than 81. So, we can just pick the highest one out of these choices to make things faster. Now, you might already know this, but 81 minus 78 is 3. But let's go through the process for those of you who can't do re uh, subtracts and regrouping that quick. 7, 11, this is going to be 3. Oh. Okay, so now, what do we do when, uh, with the quotient when we have these bigger guys? Well, uh, first of all, let's just put the 26 where it needs to go. And now, this is 78. That is the third multiple of 26. So, we just put a 3 up in the space or the place of the last digit in 78. Okay, so... 1, 3, and now we're almost done. We just got to subtract 26 because 52 is greater than 36. Since we only subtracted 26, we just put a 1 at the end. And you know that your quotient is right if it ends on the same place as your uh, dividend. So we get 10. And 10 is our remainder because 26 is bigger than 10. So we can't subtract anymore. So that means that our quotient is 131. Our uh, divisor was 26. Our, well, let me see. No, they share a bunch of letters in common, come on. So let's call this the divisor, dr, and this the dividend, dd. And this is the remainder. So. That's really it for long division. You have the divisor, the quotient, the remainder, and the dividend. And you just follow this method. Don't forget to celebrate Women's History Month.